Jeff. Get down in the dirt was that one. This is the final outcome of the four sort of acoustic guitars we've seen. This is completely solid. Yeah, absolutely. Now, how important is the shape? Because Julian thought earlier on that a solid-bodied guitar, any yeah. any shape body would be um, all right. I think probably the quality of the wood has more to do with it. So the seasoning is yeah. as important as, yeah. as are the electronic sound. I don't know if there's any any goodness in this wasted body, you know, and yeah. uh, the contour body. I think there must be something in it. But uh, oh, yeah. these pickups are very powerful. Now, can you say why there are two pickups? Um, this one here picks up a mellow sound from the strings. Yeah. And this one, which is, I've gone through the middle position, which is both. both yeah. This one is this one alone. It picks up the harsh tone. <laughs> The strings seem very light compared to, say, that used by Packer. Uh, is this to facilitate the bending? Um, partly the, the reason is I've got very weak flesh on my fingers. Yeah. And the bending that I do, it would probably slice it up like a piece of cheese. Yeah. You show some, some bending, see? Just to... um, well, it's quite a long way. Right off the board, you know? Right, so that's the guitar. It's a very low action. The strings are fairly uh, close to the... The it's neck. not uncomfortably low. It, yeah. If it was any lower, it would ping, it would go like that. Yeah. All the time. I've seen certain guitarists use this bottleneck. Yeah. You included. I didn't use it on this, between how, those how two pieces. This is... Oh. That yeah. is stroked up and down the string. And if you're really clever, you can do all sorts of things with it and play tunes. Do you have to retune much at all? Uh, some tunes. people do tune to an E chord or yeah. maybe an open A, but I, I like to keep the guitar tuned. Um, regularly, the normal, so that I can change quickly back to the chords. Yeah. Okay. On the floor, we have a vast selection of switches and gear. Can you go through what you you use tonight? Um, this middle well, one, I think. This first, middle one is merely just an, a booster. It's a volume yeah. booster, and it enables me to play at probably double the volume I wa was playing at. Just by just putting by pressing the, down, uh, the yeah. button. Can uh, you? Uh, this sure. That is off now. That's normal. Yes, yeah. And when I press it, it's quite considerably loud. So that's so I say rhythm, and then when the, um, the lead breaks well, coming yeah. up, you would pass. If you if you hit it, it at the right point during a solo, you can sustain a note. Yeah. So it's just switched and in and out according yeah. to what you've. And you've at got the time. added tonal qualities by bass and treble. Yeah. The wah wah is this. This one? is a wah wah. Yes. Yeah. Probably the most gimmicky thing, I suppose. Aptly named. Now, all this, we wouldn't hear it unless we had an amplifier. No, so true. can we take that's a true. brief look at that? Oh. How important is the size and shape? I've seen you in front of vast walls of gear. Um, oh, that's for large that? concerts, yeah. you know, where you've got to play to about 10,000 people. But this um, is big enough to record and do things like, you know, maybe small concert halls. Yeah. Or you can get the same record. range of effects and um, tonal quality as Probably you can better. I mean, you one. know, with lots of amplifiers, you tend to spoil yeah. the but delicate qualities, if, if there are any, <laughs> in the guitar. Some guitars use feedback. Now, I know this is caused by depending where you stand yeah, in relation to the speakers. It's just a continuous speakers. cycle of sound. It builds up, I suppose, it builds up in your string somewhere and feeds into the pickup. And and the guitar, continuous. has it got to be quite high? Uh, no, you can use it, um, that booster to get it lower and keep the cycle going. But could you possibly yeah, could just hold your ears. Just go on and on until yeah. I stop. You can it. control that. Yeah, you well. can. You can bend the note to it. And tunes with it. So it's not only what you're doing with your hands, it's what you've set on the amplifier. Yeah, certainly. Where you're in fact standing, because if you move away, sometimes uh, the feedback goes. Well, you, oh, it's better with it's an acoustic electric things. guitar. Yeah. Um, they do make one with F holes and an acoustic body, and it, yeah. it seems to feed back a lot better. Yeah. This solid body restricts the feedback, because that was more desirable when they designed the guitar. Right. Uh, having been over here, I've seen this bag yeah. with tube. Can you demonstrate that? Will you use it tonight? Use it in the next number? Yes. Yeah. Right. What do you call it? Uh, it's just a bag. The bag. <laughs> I won't yeah. tell you what's inside it. Okay, don't. It's too simple and 
you know, it's rather my little toy. Um, <laughs> Now the sound comes at this tube, the guitar sound, nothing sound else. The guitar out the tube. Yeah, there's no voice at all, it's just going into my yeah. into my cake hole. <laughs> So you can bend you can the talk note by speak. changing the, the cavity of the mouth. Yeah, it's Sound better when you throat. do a live concert. You can um, turn the mics up and pick up yeah. sort of um, vowel sounds and things. Fantastic. Yeah, you can get SH, which is very hard to do unless you've got a loud mic. Yeah. SH? Yeah. Shh. Um, yeah. Just the, the basic If you bite noise. it too hard, you, you close the tube up and yeah. the sound is killed off completely. Are you the only person with, with um, one? I saw Stevie Wonder with one about four years ago. And I was lucky enough to bump into another guitar player who very kindly gave me this one. Yeah. And uh, I don't sort of scream about it because it's nice to have. Fine. No, no one else has got one.